Howdy, howdy, folks. Welcome to Grim Gaming. This is Grim. Today is 7 11. It's uh, July 11th um, in the U.S. Uh, I guess it might be 11 7 uh, in other places, but uh, in the U.S., it is 7 11. Um, and yeah, we're going to be playing some GeoGuessr and doing the daily challenge. We are currently 192 days into our streak. We're going to hit 193 today. Uh, we have been doing fairly decently. Some high silvers and a gold here. Had some golds over here. Had this one real close uh, to uh, being bronze. Um, but uh, we're going to hopefully stay up in this range or higher. Um, looks like the scores are mostly pretty solid, even the MPZ guys. So this might actually be fairly easy today, um, but we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Um, as always, there are five three minute rounds. Moving, panning, zooming is allowed. We will not be moving. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Don Bonito. So this is actually probably going to be Spain. Rather than, uh, at first I had seen, you know, uh, Spanish and was thinking South America somewhere, but uh, we do have a Spanish uh, uh, power pole there. Um, the road looks Spanish, or it looks like uh, European with the white lines. European style uh, plates, although I don't see blue on them. Um, this is possible. This is older coverage. There's some blue over there, I think. There's something here, but unfortunately I won't be able to. I think that says Don Benito, just because I saw, I think I saw Don Benito. Yeah, Don Benito over here. Uh, Hospital Park, Don Benito. That might actually be a town name. Um, It could not be, like I may not be honest with you. Um, I'm not seeing it. Does that mean anything? Not really, but uh we're just going to leave our guests uh, near Madrid. Um, so I'm not seeing a Don Benito. Uh, we're going to jump into this. There was a Don Benito. I somehow did not see it. Um, that is unfortunate because, uh, I, I mean, I knew the, the city name even. Um, so that is quite unfortunate. I lost me 800 points there, near enough. Uh, this looks like it's probably going to be Bhutan. We have these flags here. We have this vehicle. And we have these roofs over here. Yeah, so this is just going to be Bhutan. I haven't seen Bhutan in a while. Um, I'll give you a closer look. Uh, this kind of roof style here. Not so much there that like this here. Very, uh, very much uh, Bhutanese. Um, I'm not sure where it'd be. Uh, I'm going to guess right there. I should have just kept it in Thimphu. It's in Parlo. Uh, let's see, where is this? Um, Got white center lines. Driving left, I mean driving right. American style. Um, like not U.S. style, but American style. Like 
North South America. An actual motorcycle, American style plates as well. With the white, oh man. Is this Chile or Bolivia? I, like, the white road line definitely is making me think, um, definitely making me think, um, uh, Chili, but like I'm just trying to think where in Chile it would be because it honestly looks maybe more like Bolivia, like like the um, Santa Cruz area. But would they have white center lines, man? That's what I don't. Like, but th like this this sign doesn't look like a Chilean sign here. No. It's not a Chilean pole, and just the landscape doesn't look like Chile. A white car would fit here, but do white road line. I'm gonna go for it. It was okay. Um, that's interesting to know. I don't know that I've seen white center lines before in Bolivia. I'm sure I probably have, but like, like everything else was pointing Bolivia, like or at least saying they this isn't Chile, you know. And I'm like, and Chile can also have yellow lines too. So it's like, you know, maybe they both have, you know. I don't know. Uh, this should be Israel. Maybe? Yeah, uh, long antenna, yellow sidelines. Um, you have like this yellow sidelines in like, um, you could have them in like Jordan and South Africa and stuff like that. Long antenna, this is going to be Israel. I'm no, not sure where exactly. No. I generally see these poles there in the uh, West Bank area. But I could be wrong. I'm just going to go to Jerusalem. Uh, it was West Bank, but it's closer to Tel Aviv. So. All right, what do we have here? So this is going to be uh, this GY is going to be uh, Hungary. Also might say HU there. I'm not sure exactly. I think that's a U as the last. Dr. Magyar. Magyar is the um, the word for yeah, Hungary. I wish I was a little closer up here because this would tell me the neighborhood. I think if we're if we're in the capital, we don't. We're not necessarily in the capital, but uh, it's a fairly, fairly bigger town, and yeah, it just has like a look that you see a lot there. Um, yeah, it does say uh, H U, and it says Hungary something or hum, Hungarian Med maybe. Not a hundred percent certain that this is the capital. Yeah, it says Hungary Med, Hungary Med. I don't know um, area codes. Um, I think I'm probably going to do the past here, um, just because it. Uh, makes the most sense. It was Budapest. It was District 13, perhaps. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, probably would have been able to tell that if we had gotten up to the street here. Yeah, see, we would have had a District 13 here. Um, so... 
probably could have five k it there. I mean, it was a fairly large looking road, but uh, I don't know. Um, we were just a, a smidgen too far away to be able to see any type of uh, thing there, but we still managed to you know, get a pretty solid score. So, um, and we got gold. Sweet. Um, overall, pretty solid. I don't know if I'd call this lucky. It's just, it's one of those ones where it was like, I just could not place where in Chile that landscape would be. If that makes any sense. Um, and then, like I said, all of the other clues in the round pointed to it not being Chile. The only thing was that white, center, white dash center line. And with, with everything else pointing to Bolivia, I went there. Um, Madrid, they were at Spain. I, somehow I did not see this Don Benito. Um, I don't know if it was visible at any point while I was zooming in. I assume it is because I'm pretty sure I was zoomed in at least this far. Um, it would have been visible over here. Um, yeah, because I, I don't, I know I was zoomed in more than this, I'm sure. I don't think I was zoomed in this far, but this far. Pretty sure I had to have been zoomed in this far. And it is visible there. I just somehow missed it. Uh, I'll go back and check the footage and see if I saw it uh, at some point. Uh, or see if it was visible at some point. I just missed it. But um, I should have been able to basically 5K that. So, uh, um, which would have given me an extra 800 points. So 24 or something if I had not been blind. Um... Could have gained a couple extra points here by keeping my guess in Finfu rather than moving uh, east over here. Um, basically, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I don't really see, yeah. I mean, I could have guessed up in here. So we've had this area quite often, and that would have been a little bit more points. So I could have definitely gained more points on three out of the five. So this here, uh, maybe I could have guessed over here if I, if I was certain where I was at. I could have, hey, this east-west road, go here. I know this is about the only east-west road that, you know, has coverage, you know, I guess, over this direction, but, uh, or the main one. So probably could have gotten more points even here, but I wasn't even 100% certain it was Bolivia. But I just, I didn't think it was Chile because of, yeah, you know, like I said, every everything was pointing that it wasn't chilly except for those red lines. Um, but uh, overall, like I said, I, I could definitely see. I could definitely see that somebody could get like a twenty-four eight pretty easily with uh, no moving. Um, but. Uh, yeah, definitely 24K was uh, super, super doable as no move. Uh, maybe not in MPZ. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. And y'all have a good day.